Hi everyone, welcome back to the another video of Ingenious Academy. So guys, we are in this video, we are going to learn about the radio waves and how this particular military radar works, which on what principle it works, what are the different devices, what are the different uh, parts which is used in the radio detection and the ranging that is the radar system. So guys, if you are new to my education channel over here, Ingenious Academy, please consider subscribing and please press the bell icon so whenever I upload a new educational video, you will get instant notification. So let's begin with our today's topic of military radar system. So first of all, let us understand is how does this radar system works? At what principle it works? So first of all, the acronym which is used for the radar, it is nothing but the radio detection and ranging. So over here, the detection is done by this radio waves. So let's take one example over here. We can see all the things, all the object around us in the presence of the light. Basically light moves all the objects, all the things visible. So in the absence of the light, we cannot see. So when the light rays or a beam of light, it gets like a, it is imposed on a particular object, that particular light rays gets reflected back from that particular object and it will move into your eyes so that the object will be visible to you. So this is the reason the light rays or else the light waves makes that particular object visible and your brain instantly computes the another information such as how far that object is from your side, what is the distance and what is the texture, size, color, what are the different specifications which are associated with that particular object. Your brain computes all that particular data. So in the similar way, the a bat, when a particular bat is flying, uh, in a particular direction, it continuously emits out the ultrasonic waves. Suppose if there is any kind of obstacle in the path of that particular motion, in the motion of that particular bat, so in that particular ways, the ultrasonic waves gets, ultrasonic waves gets are reflected by that particular obstacle and the bat senses that there is something in his path, so he changes its path instantly. So this is very similar to the radar system an airplane which is moving okay in a thick fog like you know the conditions are the weather conditions are thick fog so in that particular scenario the pilot won't be able to see beyond the visual range like he won't be able to see any further so in that particular scenario the pilot uses the radar system this particular radar system uses the Rad, uh, radio waves in a very much similar way to such as the light waves. Light waves makes all the things visible to you. In very similar manner, this radio waves makes the things such as the building, enemy aircraft, ships, other airplanes, it gets detected by this particular radar system. So how this particular radar system works? So this particular radar system consists of a source which produces this radio waves. There is some sort of the transmitter gets required like this produced radio waves need to thrown away in the atmosphere so that it get reflected from that particular object so that the transmitter is required that particular transmitted or its reflected waves will be captured by the receiver and the receiver and that particular receiver gets connected to the other filter and the other processing equipments which will process the reflected beam which will process the reflected data and which will filter filter out the unnecessary reflections and it will display the information on the screen that is the tv like screen that's connected to the radar system so the pilot is able to detect the enemy aircraft in the in the particular range or else he will detect the different ships different airplanes different objects which are there which are present in that particular territory so this is how the radar system works. So that was the, you know, just overall working of the radar system. So over here, let's, and, uh, let's go into the depth of the working of this radar system. So in the radar system, the production of the radio waves occurred by, there is an equipment which is called as the magnetron. So this particular magnetron produces the radio waves. So these are the radio waves which are very similar to the light waves. And these radio waves are travels at the speed of light itself. So the speed of light waves and the speed of radio waves are similar but these particular radio waves which are high frequency and this is having the high length 
the light waves are of produced which is very having very less wavelength whereas this produced radio waves will be having the more wavelength such as in the centimeters or in the meters and this particular produced radio waves are much similar to the microwaves but in microwave the produced radio waves are restricted only for us only for that microwave but over here this particular magnetron is so much big in size it is very much large equipment so that it the produced radio waves are having a much higher wavelength so that it can be transmitted over the longer distances so after that that's this produced radio waves gets transmitted to the antenna now this particular antenna acts as a transmitter the main function of this antenna is to transmit the radio waves to disperse the produced radio waves in in the air in a particular direction so this antenna is a curved in shape so that it will produce the it will concentrate and a form a particular beam of radio waves so that particular beam of radio waves gets transmitted get dispersed in air by use by with the help of this particular antenna now that produced radio waves are travel at the speed of light and this particular process is very much fast process such as you can consider the one one hundredth of a second the produced radio waves travels like in a one second it can travel around the world seven times so these you can see like how fast the process is and how fast the process of dispersion will occur over here in this case so this particular produced uh, radio waves gets dispersed in the air after the dispersing the antenna will look for the any kind of the reflections so over here this particular antenna will act as a transmitter as well as the receiver so the reflected waves gets collected by that particular antenna and the information is passed towards the sensitive electronic equipment this this passed towards the sensitive electronic equipment such as a filter where in that particular filter it will filter out the unnecessary information such as the reflections from the building reflections from the hills reflections from the ground and clouds and other unnecessary information is gets filtered out and only the sensitive information only the useful information gets shown showed up on a tv like screen that we can call it as a radar screen so now suppose over here in a radar system of an aircraft an aircraft needs to detect an enemy aircraft which is moving at the speed of 3000 km per hour so in that particular so in that particular scenario this particular radio waves needs to travel much faster than that particular than that aircraft and this radio waves which travels and this radio waves which having the high frequency and higher wavelength it can easily detect the enemy aircraft which will travel at that particular speed so that the enemy aircraft can be easily detected on the radar screen and as well as they will be able to track the enemy aircraft so this particular radar system can be able to track the motion of the enemy aircraft as well also these particular antennas which are used in the radar system are having the are continuously rotating so that it will continuously look out for the reflection and it continuously sends out beam of radio waves there is also an another important equipment which is known as the duplexer so this particular duplexer will be connected to the antenna and this particular duplexer switches the antenna as to being a transmitter and a receiver an antenna cannot transmit and receive at the same time after the transmission the antenna gets converted into the receiver and it will look out for the any kind of the reflections after the reflections there is after a certain period of time it will again gets converted into the transmitter and it will look out for the any kind of the reflections so this is how exactly this uh, radar system works which is used in the aircraft engines and nowadays it is used in a civil uh, civilian airplanes as well so when you visit the nearest airport you will find a giant dish which is continuously rotating and that particular dish is like located nearby to the atc air traffic control tower so you will be able to detect that particular radar also this particular radar helps in the geoseismic surveys and in the weather forecasting as well some of the weather forecasting radars are like uh, uses the doppler radar system which will convert like if there is any tornado in that particular area 
it will uh, detect the speed of the tornado and how that particular tornado will reach the another city or its nearest town in a per what time and at what uh, speed it is moving so this particular radar system can also be used in a weather forecasting also some sort of the radar system uses in a ships and in some sort of the radar system which is used in a submarines so when that particular radar system used in submarines it is called as a sonar system because in the dense uh, water like the radio waves cannot be able to disperse radio waves cannot be able to travel in a dense water uh, dense water medium so in that particular scenario it is this particular submarines uses the sonar system so that is the sound navigation and ranging so these are very much similar to the this radar system also guys there is another application of this radar system that is the speed gun which is used by the policeman so this particular speed gun detects the speed of a moving vehicle it will easily calculate the speed of the moving vehicle at what speed the vehicle is moving so this particular uh, speed gun uses the technology of the radar system that is called as the doppler radar system now this doppler radar system is uses the frequencies that is the uh, detection of the frequency like suppose you are standing at a particular location a police car having a siren on like it's traveling uh, just travel uh, which is just moving around you so when that particular police car approaches your location the the siren the pitch of the siren gets increasing as the car approaches at your location and after that particular location when it approaches and it when that particular car moves away from your location the pitch of the siren goes down it means there will be lower amplitude and high frequency results in a higher pitch as the car is very much closer to your location and after uh, that particular car is far away from your location that results in a lower frequencies and higher the distances that is the higher the wave form so this particular data is collected by the sensitive electronic equipment which is there in the gun and that particular sensitive electronic equipment comprises the frequencies that or as that frequencies of the radio waves that are the reflected back from that particular moving vehicle so that it can be able to detect, detect the speed of that particular moving vehicle so that is nothing but the technology of the doppler radar system this particular similar technology is used to track down the enemy aircraft system uh, or as the speed of the enemy aircraft the speed of the uh, missile that is approaching at your location also it will be able to also this particular system is used in this uh, weather forecasting radar systems so guys that was all about the radar system how does this radar system works and what are the equipments which is used in the radar system and what are the applications of the radar system that we have seen in our today's video so guys if you having any doubts any queries please leave a comment and guys please do subscribe to my education channel engineers academy thank you so much guys for watching this educational video Oh, 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 oh,